We've got a rain coming and uh, there's another storms causing uh, some big time issues winter weather related back to the west. It's all part of the same system that will impact us, but fortunately or unfortunately, depending on how you're looking at it, we're not going to see much in the way of winter weather out of this wave. Our Lexington Financial Center live camera and the max track are clear as soon as you uh, look back toward the western U.S. though, there it is. So big swirl of low pressure. You can pick out the rotation. They've got a tornado watch up around Dallas, uh, Fort Worth and running up into southern Oklahoma on the northern end of it uh, and the northeastern side of it. Mixed precipitation over to some heavy snow. Uh, so they've got everything from winter weather advisories to winter storm warnings to a blizzard warning out. That red is a blizzard warning and it covers some serious geography. Cal, uh, Colorado all, running all the way up into parts of uh, western South Dakota, eastern Wyoming, western Nebraska. They're hammered with strong winds and as well uh, heavy snow. So uh, dangerous situation for them. And then you drop down to the south and there's that severe potential. It's around Dallas this morning, but by later on today it'll shift east with the cold front so they could see some strong to few uh, possible severe storms uh, and that'll be uh, the case across the deep south. So we are between the two. The snow will stay up over the Great Lakes. The severe threat will stay across the deep south and we will likely see some heavy rain developing as early as tomorrow morning. So after clouds thicken up later on today, here comes the rain widespread, potentially moderate to heavy Wednesday morning. So this could be an impact for the morning commute tomorrow. It'll get going early and it will likely have a bit of a break. It may not completely shut down, but the uh, you know, coverage and intensity will drop off and then it'll fire back up again as round two gets rolling by later Wednesday. So the evening commute could be just as soggy as the morning commute. And then eventually that rain pushes east, some rumbles of thunder mixed in with both rounds, and then eventually it'll diminish into Thursday morning. And rainfall amounts could be anywhere between one to over two inches of rain. So this will take another huge bite out of the uh, ongoing drought there, but also make for some miserable conditions with that second round coming in after we get soaked in the morning. We'll also have to watch out for the potential for some localized flooding concerns there. It's not a big enough issue to have a, a watch or anything issued, but we may end up with some you know, standing water on the roadways. We're in the 40s for our normal high. We're in the 50s for the actual high the next couple of days. And then you see the nosedive into the weekend, the six to 10 day temperature outlook. Still uh, pretty excited about keeping most of the U.S. just prior to December this or uh, to Christmas. This is December 19th through the 23rd below normal. There are signs out there and that continue that we can have an Arctic outbreak, a significant push of colder air coming our way just before Christmas. The big question is whether it lasts through Christmas or not, and if there's anything to go along with it. For today, partly to mostly cloudy skies. Tonight, I've got this set up to show you the uh, hourly rain chance starting at 6 p.m. because it doesn't really get going until after midnight. Still nothing going on at midnight, and then early tomorrow morning, boom, here comes that rain from out west. And if we look at Wednesday, starting you out around uh, 7 a.m., it's ongoing. There's that little bit of a midday dip, and then that second wave gets going later in the day. And then Thursday could be one of those days where we hit our high early in the day and see temperatures falling into the 40s as that colder air comes barreling in. A few flurries possible, isolated snow showers in the wake of that system. It'll be cold enough for it. We drop into the 30s and then stay there this weekend. So get ready to get cold and stay cold. Cold enough with highs in the 40s early next week could be talking about some mixed precipitation uh, possibilities as well.